Hello everyone, welcome back to part two of this epic yard sale haul video. This was one weekend's worth. If you watched my last video, I did all my hard goods that I found. It was a great video. Now I'm on to the clothes. I went to a yard sale that had 50 cents per item on all their clothes. There was like a huge pile of clothes. The first thing that I found were a pair of outer known men's jeans and that was like my cue to keep digging and to keep looking and I'm really glad that I did. Honestly, I don't remember what I picked up. I remember maybe like five out of the 30 items that I found. So this is gonna be like brand new to me as well for this haul video. I'm really excited. It's a full Ikea bag. So let's get into it. I'm gonna show you everything that I picked up. Okay, so the first thing I found, this was not 50 cents, but this was $10 and it is the most beautiful handmade quilt it's so beautiful. I am so tempted to keep it for myself, but I just, I just don't think we will use it. But how beautiful is this? I looked up the print already or the pattern, I guess you could say. Um, it's like a log cabin fields and furrows print. I'm learning my quilts. This is amazing. And I spent $10 on it. It was a great pickup for 10 bucks. I have it listed for really high. We'll see what I get. I have a list for $2.25. I have a no idea what to price these at, but based off of the pattern and kind of how rare it is, and then the browns and the reds, it's kind of a more, I think in my opinion, a cuter style just because it's more earth tone neutral. So I have it up for that much, hoping to get around that. But this is precious, only $10 for that. Okay, here's my full Ikea bag. I'm so excited. First thing on top is a pair of mother jeans. I completely forgot about these. So a pair of mother jeans to start us off. They are white, so they may be a little bit harder to sell, but they're a size 27 and they are in really good condition. Oh, I just realized there's some, maybe. Oh, maybe not. I thought maybe there was some puckering right there. Puckering is like where it gets really ripply right here because somebody stretched them out a little bit too much when they wore them, but these were 50 cents. So that is amazing. I didn't run comps on any of these things. Uh, maybe a few new to me brands. So I have no idea what they're going to be selling for, but I tried to pick up things that I know will sell and um, just spending 50 cents per item kind of helps me just go, go to town. So we'll be popping up comps on items that I don't know off the top of my head, how much I will get for them. So that will kind of help you guys see whether it was like, a good buy or a terrible buy. Um, and by terrible buy, I mean something that's not gonna sell. The fact that I only spent 50 cents per piece, I'm not gonna be out much if it happens to be something that I'm not gonna sell quickly or I'm not gonna sell at all. So um, that's what I'm talking about when I say a bad buy. I'm talking about, I'm just saying my sell through rate is not gonna be where I wish it was at with these items. I don't wanna sit on things for a long time basically. Okay, this sell had a lot of cycling gear, which I do love to pick up. It does sell pretty good for me. This is Garnu. These are just some men's cycling shorts. I have sold this brand, I'm pretty sure, which is why I decided to pick all these items up because if this is a good brand, chances are that the other cycling um, brands will be good as well. So these picked up, I'm going to put a comp on the page for how much these should go for. Um, I'm going to do like a thumbs up or thumbs down if these are like good buys or bad buys. So I'm hoping I did good. We will see at the end of the video how many thumbs downs I got um, as far as like sell through rate. Next is another cycling. This is Endura, which is more of like a mountain bike there we go. Mountain biking gear. These are just a pair of shorts. I have sold these before as well. And I think they sold for about 40 bucks. So I'm hoping for that amount for these. Um, we will see how those do. I guess I'm going to give you guys the thumbs up. Like I said, duh. Um, I think this is Patagonia if I'm yes, this is a Patagonia women's like midi skirt. Super cute. It has the tie at the waist. My baby is crying. She just woke up from her nap. So one second, <laughs> here she is. <laughs> Say hi. She's getting so big already. This is Hazel. She's almost four months old now. So um, yeah, I'm just gonna put her in her little bouncy and see if she will let me finish this video. Yeah. You want okay, we got more cycling gear. Zoic. Um, I'm pretty sure this is good. Yeah, so 
So like I said, I just picked up all of the cycling gear that was there. Mountain biking, all that stuff. There's a yellow tag on these. Huh. I found a good little tag. What if this was like a reseller's lot? I just realized that. And <laughs> this had to have been somebody that just got rid of some stuff. It looked like an estate sale when I was there. It really it looked like a clear out. Like there was so much stuff. But that could very well be what was going on here. So these um men's like mountain biking shorts. Yay yeah, or nay. Oh my gosh, what's this? <laughs> Crash pads, made in Oregon, USA. This must be more cycling stuff. Here's the little thing. It's just like a foam cycling pad gear thingy. I'm assuming. Um, we'll put up. I'll put up comps and see what this is even worth. Who knows? But I'm hoping it's a good one. Oh yeah, I forgot about this. This is like a mystery bag to me. <laughs> this is a Lululemon. I did pay up, I paid five for this one. So they had a rack that had um, more expensive items and these were, this was five. And it is a medium large, like Lululemon jacket. It's like an anorak, anorak, am I saying that right? Who knows? Um, oh, wait a second. This is like a cape. Oh, this is a cape. There's no armholes. What's going on here? Hold the phone. Hold the phone. What did I buy? You guys, this is literally some kind of cape thing from Lululemon. I don't know if this was a bad or a good buy. It is an older style. Ooh. So I'm assuming you just wear it around your shoulders. But why? Oh my gosh, if this is like some sort of modified thing, I'm gonna laugh so hard. Like somebody just, like if this isn't a real Lululemon thing, I'm gonna be in tears. So I'm gonna put up a picture of what this actually is. If it is something, that's hilarious. I bought this because I thought it was a coat. <laughs> All right, we will see how this does. Hopefully that $5 doesn't bite me in the butt. All right, what's this? Pew de Loop? I don't know. Pew de Loop. I believe I ran comps on this. It is like a vest. It's a size 18 plus size women's like tuxedo vest. So it must have been good because I, I picked it up because it's a brand that I have no idea. So I must have picked it up for a reason. Yay or nay on that one. Okay, here are the outer known jeans. They are size 32, men's. So this was one of the first items that I found that I was like, okay, I'm gonna start digging through everything because if there's one item that is worth reselling, usually, hopefully it's it's there's more so that's that's usually what i i have a problem though if i go to the thrift store and i find one good item then i spend the entire day going through every single item because i feel like that one item <laughs> will mean means that there's so much more like somebody donated and usually that is the case it was the case at this yard sale thankfully um i know those will do good those are definitely worth the 50 cents Athleta 1X, definitely worth the 50 cents on this one, in my opinion. This is just a cute little dress. Lululemon leggings. See, like for 50 cents, I was having a cow here. I couldn't even believe it. This style does okay for me. Um, but since they are gray, and I think they're a little bit bigger of a style, I don't know how I'm going to figure out what size. Oh, wait, I think it's on the cuff or the pant bottom, am I right? Okay, not on that one. Usually it's kind of like in the fabric. No, okay, so 
in my opinion, worth the 50 cents for these. I will probably price them low because I don't think this style does very well. Some more cycling gear. I think these ones are women's. Oh, this is Garnu again, that, that first cycling brand that I showed you guys. So these are tiny little shorts, the padded shorts. Um, some cycling stuff can do really, really well. So I always look up items. Oh, yeah, I don't know if this is real or not. Fendi, probably not real. I have to do some research. We'll see what that what that goes for. If it's even real. Some J. Crew Winnie pants, size eight. I just thought these were so cute. I feel like this plaid is kind of trending. It's kind of punk, hot topic-y um, with like some Converse and something. It'd be so cute. And they're a size eight. So I thought these were worth the 50 cents. What are these? Okay, this is a brand called Patrick James. Never heard of this brand before. West Coast Classic. They have little embroidered beer mugs all over them. Never heard of this brand. I will be running comps while I'm editing this video. So I'm obviously, I'm just so curious as to if this is even anything. So we will see if this is a yay or a nay, a pass or a fail. Another Lululemon. This is just a like red crew neck sweater. It has the Lululemon spell out. Oh, wow. You cannot see that. It has the Lululemon spell out down here. Maybe about 25 to 30 for that one. Okay. Some more cycling gear. This is women's Voler. Those other shorts were probably women's too. So new brand to me. I don't know. I was just throwing things in my bag. We will see. More Lululemon. I forgot how much Lululemon I found. These are some super cute. Um, they're inside out. Just some little shorts. Oh my gosh. How cute. They do have. Oh, you know what? Oh, sad. <laughs> I'm, I think this was a skirt or something. It had some mesh covering to the short and somebody cut it off. So I'm sure if I went in and cut this off closer to the seam, they would maybe still sell. We will see how these do. I might just have to toss these, unfortunately. Is this a free people? Oh, it has a stain. We have a free, just a thermal with the cute little sleeve. I have sold this before, I think for like 25. So that's why I picked this one up. These are a pair of Roan. Roan is a great men's brand. Let's see if I can find. Well, here's one of the little logos. And here's the, the tag. These are just a pair of sweatpants XL. Not bad for 50 cents. I'm going to, I'm like trying to make sure there's no flaws because I did not pay very good attention to the flaws. Um, Pangea. I briefly ran comps on this brand. So from what I saw, they did pretty well, but I, I have no idea. They're just a pair of pants and they have some like little writing right here. I have a drawstring at the the ankle. Um, yes, what I saw was good, but I have no idea if like sell through rate or is good or anything. I was just going ham there, throwing stuff. Bon Traeger, another like mountain biking shorts thing. I'm really hoping that these still do good because it is fall and winter. But um, in other places, it's not. It's still nice and sunny and doesn't rain every single day or snow. So I'm hoping those still do well. This is a rough wear dog like vest backpacking thing. Um, I have heard that this brand does pretty well. So I wanted to try this out. I'm hoping maybe 30 for this. More cycling gear, man. Machines for Freedom is this one. Just another padded short. And let's see if I can... here's the little tag. 
So I guess if, if they're a thumbs up, you guys can memorize the tags. And if they're thumbs down, then you can memorize the tags and not get them. <laughs> I only have a few left, so we are almost there. This is just a Vintage Lucky Brand t-shirt. It usually does pretty well for me, the Vintage Lucky Brand. I think this is vintage anyway. Just a men's XL. I think worth 50 cents, probably get about 20 for that. And then Banks Journal, I have sold this brand before. These are just a pair of corduroy shorts. I think I sold the last pair for maybe like 30 or 40. So these are definitely a good pickup. Um, let's see, I think they're like a made in California. No, they're not, they're made in China. But they are like a surfer, um, beachy vibe kind of uh, clothing brand. So last but not least is a coach bag vintage coach bag i have no idea what style this is i have not ran any sort of comps on this i just threw it in the bag <laughs> but look it's a cute little bucket bag it's like a leather little bucket purse i'm excited to see what this goes for because i have never seen this style before how cute is it it kind of smells like smoke so i'm gonna put it in the freezer that is my trick to get smoke out of clothes or purses Usually it works if it's not too, um, too smoky, too gross. So that is my haul. That was really exciting and I can't wait to list all of this. This is my score of how many items were good, how many items were bad. So I think that's, um, hopefully it's pretty good. Hopefully I didn't fail terribly at this, but overall everything was only 50 cents. So that is okay. It's kind of like a learning game. And now I know maybe which cycling brands to pick up and which ones not to pick up. Yeah. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed. I will see you guys on the next one. I hope you have a good day.